Greetings my dear followers. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to apply bullets on the list in the form of bullets, numbers and alphabets. Here's the list of points that I want to format in bulleted style. I would highly recommend you to watch my tutorial about importing data from MS Word into Adobe InDesign. The card has just appeared at the top of this video. If you want, you can pause this video, go check it out, then follow along with me in this tutorial. Let's go back to those points and I'm going to zoom in for you so that you guys can clearly see what's going on. To apply bullet on these points, I need to have bullet paragraph style. Let's go to the paragraph style. Shortcut key is F11. As you can see, I haven't created any bulleted paragraph style in this panel. To create a new paragraph style, go to the bottom of the panel and click this page icon. It says create new style. Click here. New paragraph style has been created. Now rename it bullet. Let's select all these points and observe in paragraph styles panel that it's showing basic paragraph style. Now with the text selected, click the bullet paragraph style. Nothing happens. This is because I did not edit any properties of bullet paragraph style. Double click the bullet paragraph style and you will come across this paragraph style options panel. This panel has many useful tools but for the time being, I am going to focus only on bullets and numbering tab. Over here, you can rename this paragraph style the way you want. As I have already named it bullet, I am going to leave it just like this. In the list type, when I click over here, there's a drop down menu displaying three options, none, where no effect can be applied to this paragraph style. There is bullet. Bullets can be of any shape, dots, square, triangle, arrow, etc. And numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Let me show you the magic. First, make sure that this preview is enabled so that you guys can see the changes in paragraph style when I change the values. Now, let me choose bullet and see the points are now in bullet form. Check this bullet character panel where you can have variety of bullet shapes. Click on each of these shapes and choose your desired bullet. However, if you are not happy with any of these shapes, you can always add the new shapes to this list. Click Add, which lies right over here. I like this arrow symbol, so I will add it to the list. This pointer looks amazing to me, so I am adding that too. Now in the fonts, I will type webdings. And now, we will have these variety of symbols. However, I will choose Wingdings font. I like this. I like the shadow square. I like this diamond. Click OK. Now, all symbols appear on this list. Now see the magic. Make sure the preview is enabled. I click on this triangle. Then automatically all these bullets are transformed into triangle. So do with each of these symbols. Next, we come across this option text after. This means what should we add after the bullet? These are the formulas, raised to T. 
If I click this arrow and choose paragraph, then the paragraph symbol will appear next to the bullet. You can keep adding more and more bullets, but normally we don't do this as it is not required in text formatting. So I'm leaving it as dot bullets. Next thing is character style. But since the bullets are not in numbers, this option will have no effect on bullets. However, if I choose number instead of bullets, then I can apply these character styles to these bullets. Next thing is bullet or number position. Since all this text is already left aligned, this option will not change the position of the bullets, whether it's left, right or in the center. Now focus on this tip position, which is the distance between the bullets and the text. Here you can see from the ruler that the distance is 0.5 inch. So if I increase the value, text goes further away from the bullet. Now focus on left indent. This is the distance between the bullets and the border. So if I increase the value, only the bullets move. Text is not affected at all. Now focus on the first line indent. As I change values, it affects the position of both bullets and text. So I will leave it at 0 inch. I want to add spacing between these tags, so I am going to the basic character formats and increase the leading to 16 points. Very nice. Now I want these bullets in number form rather than the shape bullets. To do that, create new paragraph style and rename it bullet numbers. And choose this list type to numbers. Go to format. Here we have many options of bullet styles from numbers to roman numbers and alphabets. I'm choosing number as raised to T. Now we can use character style over here. I will show you that in a moment. First, I will keep the mod as start at 1. I'm keeping the remaining stuffs as it is. Nothing has been changed. Click on the text and see that it has bullet paragraph style and not number bullets. Select all this text and click on bullet numbers. And see that all the bullets are gone and no numbers have appeared. I will fix that now. Double click the bullet numbers paragraph style. I will change the formula to hashtag raise to t. Now if I choose this formula we will have double numbers. So I am leaving it as default formula. Click OK. Now there is a problem. All these bullets are in same numbers and not 1, 2, 3, 4. It is very easy to fix this issue. Select the text till the second point and double click the number bullet paragraph is child. Choose the mod to continue from previous numbers. Now I can change the character style for bullets only. I am leaving it to none for now. Click OK. Now let me show you another issue using this technique. Let me find the other text that needs bullet style. Here it is. I want to make these three points in bullet format. Select all this text and go to the paragraph with styles and apply number bullet to the text. Now see, the numbering is starting from the number 10 following the previous bullet points in the document. I know it looks annoying but I can fix that with few clicks. 
I can even ignore this issue and apply different bullet style. Let's suppose arrow bullets. So I am making duplicate of this paragraph style and changing the bullet form to arrow. Click OK. Select the text and apply arrow bullet paragraph style to it. However, I want this list in number bullets. So I will apply back number bullets. But this time, I am making duplicate of this number bullet paragraph style. Let's rename this number bullet starting number. Go to bullets and numbering and choose mod to start at 1. Click OK. Now select this list and apply this starting number bullet paragraph style. Select the next two points in the style and apply number bullet style. I have fixed this issue successfully by creating separate paragraph styles. Now I want to have alphabet bullets. It's so simple. Duplicate these both paragraph styles. Let's rename it bullet alphabet. Choose format to A, B, C, D. I'm leaving everything else as same. Click OK. Now I'm doing the same for this paragraph style. Choosing A, B, C, D format. I will apply starting alphabet to first point and bullet alphabet to the next two points. Let me remove this copy word from these styles. I am putting these points back in numbers style. Now, the last thing I want to do is group these bullet paragraph styles together. Click bullet, hold shift and click the last one. Right click and choose new groups from styles. Rename it bullet group. Now my paragraph styles are well organized for my future projects. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.